Hold on. Starting February 17th, 2009, it won't matter how much you adjust it or pound on it. If the television set you use to receive your free broadcast TV isn't ready to receive digital, it won't work. You will not be able to receive programming of any sort and you will be in the dark. The switch to digital is coming sooner than you think. And if you're prepared for the transition, instead of snow, you'll get crystal clear pictures and incredible sound. It's more like watching a movie than it is watching television today. The switch to digital is exciting, but viewers who don't take the easy steps necessary to prepare for the transition risk losing their free television programming. Now is the time. Are you ready? Good evening and thanks for joining us. The countdown is on. Come February, the switch to digital will change television forever. Across the U.S., 69 million TV sets will be affected. Right here in Southern Nevada, there are more than 48,000 households not ready for the transition. In the next half hour, we'll tell you who will be affected. And we'll have the answers to all your questions. So let's get started. Since the early days of television, we've taken for granted that we could watch free TV and anywhere we could put up an antenna and get a signal. Whether we had a black and white or color TV, lived in a big city or small town, we could always count on receiving our local news, weather, sports, and favorite shows on our TV sets. But in 2005, Congress passed a law that would affect the way people watch television. Federal law mandates television stations to switch to digital broadcasting, or DTV, by February 17, 2009. The members of the National Association of Broadcasters made it their number one priority to ensure that no television viewer is unaware of the DTV transition. Millions of people have already bought televisions with digital tuners. But for those of you who don't have a digital set and are watching antenna TV, you'll be without a picture when the switch to digital takes effect. On February 17th, 2009, none of these analog televisions are gonna work unless you get a converter box. The converter box connects directly to your antenna and analog TV. Once your box is installed, just turn on your set and you should have a crystal clear digital picture. So how do you get ready for the switch to digital? There are three simple ways to make the switch. People are confused. They think they have to buy a new TV and all they really have to do is get a converter box. What we're doing at RCA is providing a box that allows you to use the TVs that you currently have that have analog tuners and convert the digital signal to analog. So you don't have to throw away your TV, you don't have to buy a new TV, you just hook up this converter box. So mark your calendars for February. 17. It's when TV goes digital. But what does digital really mean? Dave Cavassier joins us now to explain. Gary and Paula, on February 17th, full power television stations across the country must broadcast only in digital. So, what is digital? Digital is an electronic series of ones and zeros that are transmitted to your set. Your TV reassembles this information into pictures and sound. Digital technology allows us to get more information in a smaller space. It's like fitting 16 lanes of traffic on a four-lane road. And if you think about what's been happening in the past few years, there have been some remarkable advancements in entertainment technology. CDs and iPods have replaced vinyl records. Movies we watched on VHS tapes just a few years ago are now viewed on DVDs. Digital technology makes this all possible. Since the beginning of television, innovations such as color and stereo sound had not required us to make any changes to our TV equipment, but this time the dramatic nature of the change to digital means we have to take some action or our television sets will stop working. If you subscribe to cable or have satellite TV or already have a digital TV, you won't be affected by the change, but you might know someone who is. The most disenfranchised are the poor, elderly, and people who live in rural areas and minorities. Those groups tend to rely on over-air broadcasting more than other groups. And so we just need to make sure that we are doing the research that we need to do on the ground to find out what are the best ways to reach those populations. 
Don't forget, even though the television sets you use the most are digital, you may be forgetting another set, still using an antenna. And that's why it's so important to check your garage, the basement, make sure all of your TVs are ready for the switch to digital. Thanks, Dave. For those of you affected and making the switch, once your TV is ready, you'll notice a big change. Sure will. You'll be able to easily view your favorite channels and some new ones with crystal clear pictures and great sound. They love it. We've heard people that, that were cable subscribers and what they've done is they, they have you know second and third TV sets they've hooked up with, with a converter box and they've gotten rid of their cable subscription. They say we don't need it, we have all these other options over the air and it's free. There is more information you need to know about the switch to digital coming up after the break. When you tune to a channel, the converter box recognizes what channel you're on and then goes in and select the antenna elements that will give you absolutely the best picture. When we come back, we'll show you how and where to get a converter box for your existing TV. That plus tips on buying a new TV when we return. Channel 8 and Ion Health brings you the latest medical breakthroughs and current health information important to you. Watch special reports in our newscast, then find out more online with a complete Ion Health directory at LasVegasNow.com, featuring a list of healthcare professionals like Dr. Wayne Mantell, Desert Medical Consultants, True Care Medical Center. To find out more about these and other Ion Health specialists, log on to LasVegasNow.com. We love the start of a brand new day. Keeping you in the know with everything that's happened overnight. And the news you need to start your morning off right. We love bringing you your first look at the day's weather, giving you a forecast you can trust. We love helping you beat the traffic. And finding the best route to get you where you're going. We love introducing you to the faces and places that make Southern Nevada special. And doing it all in the most exciting city in the world. At Channel 8 Eyewitness News, we love mornings. Revolution has come to broadcast television, even bigger than the change to color. On February 17, 2009, television goes all digital. But without an upgrade, some TVs will stop working. Find out what you need to do. You can either call this number or visit LasVegasNow.com to see how you can get free, over-the-air digital TV with better picture, better sound, and more channels. Welcome back. It's a date you'll hear about in the coming months. It is February 17th, and at midnight that night, television will change forever. If you currently receive your television via antenna, or what we called in the old days, rabbit ears, you'll need to get a converter box and attach it to your analog television, and you'll be great. Converter boxes are easy to get. They're already available in some stores and online, wherever TVs or other consumer electronic products can be purchased. There will be a lot of converter boxes on the market, like this one, which carries the Zenith brand. All you need to do is hook your antenna in here, and the antenna output into the television set. Once you get your converter box, it's easy to install. That's right, Paul, it's very easy. But to make sure we all understand how to connect the converter box, I headed to a local RC Willie store to let an expert show us how and to give us some tips on new TVs. All right, if this is what you have, if this is how you get television, then you're gonna need to make some changes in February. Rob Stevenson is with RC Willie. And what's the easiest way if you're getting TV from this? February? If you're utilizing uh, antenna broadcast and you need to make the change, uh, one of the ways you can do that was a simple box like this here. What this does is this takes your new digital signal that's going to be available in February and it turns it back into analog so you can utilize it on your older sets. Okay, and it's really easy to plug in? Very simple to plug in, just like plugging in a VCR or any of your other components. Uh, you simply come in through the antenna input and you're going to go out through the antenna out or through the video outs and hook it right up to your TV. Once you do that, and presto, change o, you've got television again. Yep, that's going to bring that, that digital signal back down to analog so you can use it. If you've got an old TV and you're getting it off the air with this, and you don't have one of those, what happens in February? Uh, your TV is no longer going to be able to take that reception. That reception will now be a digital picture, and yet analog signal is just not, the analog TV is just not going to be able to take it. Okay, so you just get snow in February. Yeah. There are several kinds of... The other option, obviously, is to buy a new TV. You can buy a new TV and take advantage of the new signal that's going to be available, you know, and that's obviously what we recommend, but, you know, that all depends on how you're going to be using it. 
uh, where you're able to get that new quality digital picture that's going to be available in February, and you can do that with the new TV. Okay, clear up the, the difference between LCD and plasma and all the rest of it. Well, there's going to be three major technologies out right now where you're going to have LCD, you're going to have plasma and DLP that are going to be your main types of TVs out there. Uh, depending on your room situation, it's going to determine which TV is going to be right for you, the size you're looking for. Uh, how bright the room is, where you know LCDs work really well in bright rooms. Uh, plasmas have one of the best picture qualities on the market. DLPs give you one of the best bangs for the buck where you get size and quality uh, at the best price mark as well as they also use a little bit less power over the year. Uh, so it saves you a little bit on your electric bill too. So you know. And the other part is if you've got cable or you get satellite now, you don't have to worry about it. Absolutely. If you're getting cable or satellite now, there's nothing to worry about. Satellite's always been a digital signal. Uh, the cable company here in the, mark, in the valley is already committed to going through 2012, continue to bring back their normal, that digital signal back down to analog so you can still receive it if you're paying for your service. So that's not going to be an issue if you have cable or satellite. Okay. Well, there's some answers. If you're getting this, this is how you're getting television. That's what you need to do in February. Rob mentioned coupons to help you pay for a converter box. Don't worry, those coupons are easy to get. The federal government will subsidize $40 for the cost of an eligible converter. But supplies are limited. In just a few minutes, we'll have all the details you need to know about getting the DTV converter coupons. Earlier, we told you there are more than 48,000 households in Southern Nevada that aren't ready for the switch to digital. Nearly half of them are in the Hispanic community. Some 20,000 Hispanic households, about 14% of them, are not ready. And in those homes where Spanish is the only language, 43% don't have what they need to get digital pictures come February 17th. We're going to take a break now, but first, here's Eyewitness News reporter Chris Saldana with a look at what our Spanish-speaking audience needs to do to keep the picture from turning to snow. En el día de febrero 17 de 2009, si la televisión que tú usas para recibir la señal gratis no está lista para cambiar a señal digital, esta simplemente no trabajará. Si tú estás preparando para esta transición, en vez de perder la señal, tú recibirás las mejores imágenes claras y cristalinas, así como el mejor sonido. Las leyes federales hacen un mandato a todas las televisoras de hacer el cambio a una señal digital a más tarde en febrero 17 de 2009. No se preocupe, hay algunos pasos que usted puede seguir para estar listo con este cambio digital. Tú puedes comprar una televisión nueva, suscribirte a una compañía de cable o puedes comprar una caja convertidora que cambie la señal digital a una señal analoga. Así la televisión vieja estará lista para recibir la señal sin ningún problema. La caja convertidora se conecta directamente a tu antena y a la televisión. Una vez que está instalada, solamente prenda tu televisión y estará lista. Las cajas convertidoras están disponibles para alquilarse en todas las tiendas que ofrecen electrónicos o también puedes alquilarla por el Internet. Actualmente tú puedes conseguir un cupón de descuento. El gobierno te ofrece dos cupones por cada uno de los propietarios o representantes de familia es cubrir la mayor parte del cuesto de la caja. Esta promoción es limitada. Las primeras personas en recibir esta promoción tendrán solamente 90 días a partir de la fecha que recibas un correo electrónico. De otra manera, esta expirará. Tú puedes entrar a la siguiente página del Internet, www.dtv2009.gov o solamente llamar completamente gratis al 888-888. 388-2009. Did you know America's fastest growing disease isn't cancer, it's diabetes. More than 300,000 Southern Nevadans have diabetes. And while we don't have a cure, what we do have is you. Channel 8 and the American Diabetes Association encourage you to step out, walk to fight diabetes. The fundraising walk will be held at Spring Mountain Ranch State Park on September 20th. Register online by September 15th. Together, we can find a cure. Hey, right. speaking of cows, I got a joke for you. Okay. What do you get when you cross a brown chicken with a brown cow? A brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> Who knew we'll we had back. a comedian with us this morning? Wake up with the most enjoyable team around. Sifting through a North Las Vegas plane crash at 11. 
There are about 69 million television sets in America that are going to be impacted by this. Did have bunny ears uh, for quite a while. Oh, they kept saying February, February, you got to change it. I'm really glad that I got the converter box now. Welcome back. Come February 17th, 2009, if you're prepared for the transition to digital, instead of snow, you'll see crystal clear pictures and hear incredible sound. But if you're not and you need to buy a converter box for your older TV set, you don't have to pay a fortune. Dave is back with what you need to know. That's right. Financial help for the converter box comes in the form of coupons, and they're easy to get. Here's how. If you're not ready to buy a new TV when the switch to digital takes place, don't worry, getting a converter box for your older TV is pretty simple. And if you're worried about the cost, there's help for that too. The federal government is issuing coupons to help pay for the cost of the box. Every household can get up to two coupons. In some cases, the coupons could cover the cost of the entire box, depending on who the, the box manufacturer and the cost is. The cost of each converter box will depend on where you go to buy it. Depending on the manufacturer, boxes can range in cost from $40 to $70. This Zenith box sells for about $60, so for $20 out of your pocket and a $40 coupon, you get the converter box. And not only do you get a crystal clear digital picture, but you've got a lot of other cool features like digital closed captioning with different colors and fonts. But if you're eligible for a coupon, that'll pay for $40 of the total cost. Now, households in the United States and its territories are eligible for coupons on a first come, first serve basis. And a maximum of two $40 coupons per household will be allowed. If you plan on getting a coupon, you'll want to act soon. Supplies are limited and are on a first come, first serve basis. And you're gonna to want to use them soon after you get them because each coupon will expire 90 days from the day they're mailed. Get the converter box, get the coupon, so it costs you little to nothing to have the converter box to continue to get great free television. You can get the coupon by either going to the DTV guide on our website, lasvegasnow.com, or by calling toll-free 1-888-DTV-2009. But there are other options for those who are hearing impaired or who speak Spanish. Or for the hearing impaired, 877-530-2634. There is another number for the Spanish speaking, 888-388-2009. Make the application so that that coupon can be sent to you. Remember that coupon is worth $40, and each household can apply for two. Very important because most of us have two or three and sometimes even four sets in the house. But beware, Consumer Affairs warns there are fake vouchers criminals may try to get you to buy. With a coupon going out there, there's going to be certain scams. It's inevitable. There'll be people saying that, you know, they can provide coupons that are maybe a, at, at a higher rate, at a higher uh, amount, uh, multiple coupons. You can, if you can think, if they can think of it, there will be a scam associated to this. We have much more information about getting the official vouchers on our website. If a converter box isn't what you're looking for on the switch to digital, you can buy a new TV set. Earlier we told you about the many new types of sets you can get for the digital conversion. Here's something else to think about. Those TVs aren't only DTV ready, some may be HD TV high definition. HD TV is actually a subset of DTV. HD TV is the highest level of digital television. You have standard definition digital, enhanced definition digital, and high definition television for that ultimate home theater experience. The way to understand it is if you look at a, a photograph in the newspaper, you can see the dots. And if you look in a magazine, you don't see the dots. It's clear. There's more. The dots are smaller. That's the easiest way to explain it. When the switch happens, you'll have crystal clear pictures, but you'll also have amazing digital sound. When you get connected, you'll be able to go from two speakers for stereo sound to five speakers for surround sound, just like in the theater. If you're in the market for a new TV and aren't sure if that TV is ready for the digital conversion, don't worry. TVs for sale without a digital tuner are required to be labeled, alerting consumers they have an analog tuner, meaning they'll need a converter box to work. So when you buy your next TV, be sure to carefully read the packaging to see what you're getting. With digital television transmission, you get awesome pictures, great sound quality, multiple channels of programming, and it's free. It's free. Coming up.
The digital transition not only gives us amazing new pictures, but it will also help emergency responders in our community. We'll tell you how next. I really wasn't in the market for a new television, so I just determined that the easiest thing to do uh, would probably get the converter box. Well, part of the public service announcement that I saw mentioned getting a coupon that would give you a discount on the converter box that you need for each television. I received the coupon in the mail, and I took it in to the retailer, and they were able to tell me exactly what I needed. So I bought the converter box, and the coupon off made it quite affordable. I came home and the directions were very easy. All you had to do was plug the antenna into the back of the converter box and the converter box into the back of the television. So it was pretty simple. That's just how easy the switch to digital can be. But it will also make it easier for viewers to immediately and efficiently receive over the air news and information in times of disaster and emergencies. Television is an extraordinarily important tool to communicate emergency information, news and information that people need to participate effectively in the political process. Television broadcasters are second to none in keeping people informed about events affecting their lives every moment of the day. That includes hurricanes, tornadoes, fires, all sorts of emergencies, school closings. And I think the, uh, the important thing that people have to realize with this digital transition is that you've got to make the transition to make sure that you continue to be plugged in to what's happening around you. When the switch happens, it'll free up analog broadcast channels, which will make it easier for emergency responders to communicate in times of disaster. When you make the switch, you may want to get rid of your old TV set. So what do you do? Dave's here with the answer. Gary and Paula, if you have an older TV and you're thinking about getting rid of it, you might want to consider that those sets are made with materials that are toxic to the environment, like up to eight pounds of lead, zinc, and mercury. And that's why you may want to check around and find a company here in the Valley that can help you recycle your old set. As for Republic Services, they do not have a TV recycling plan, but they say don't worry if the older sets actually make it to the landfill, the toxic materials won't do any damage because of a thick synthetic lining which keeps the toxic materials from getting into the groundwater 700 feet below the landfill. Hey, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? You don't have to do that. All your television needs is a converter box. Let me get you connected, you can get back to your shows or whatever else you were doing. There are about 69 million television sets in America that are gonna be impacted by this. On February 17th, 2009, none of these analog televisions are gonna work unless you get a converter box. It sounds like a long time from now, it's not. The difference is fantastic in terms of the visual and the audio as well. I think it's a great opportunity for people who love great broadcast television. This is a phenomenal opportunity to get better picture quality, awesome audio, and more services, and to get it for free. So if you love television the way I love television, this is an awesome opportunity. All right, that's it. What do you think of digital television? The main message tonight is that after February 17th, 2009, if you receive free TV from an antenna and you don't have a digital TV set, you will need a converter box or it won't work. Remember, getting connected is easy and affordable. You can apply for coupons, two per household, to help offset the cost. But if you're already getting television through satellite, cable, or a pay television service, or if your TV has a built-in digital tuner, you won't be affected. But you might know someone who is, so spread the word. We have all the information we brought you tonight on our DTV guide on our website, lasvegasnow.com. You can also get the information by phone by calling toll-free 888-DTV-2009. Thanks for joining us and enjoy the new and exciting television picture.